no secret that many Ugandans are experiencing economic hardships since COVID-19 and its subsequent lockdowns. Jen, which is not her real name, is a professionally trained chef with a certificate from YMCA. She was employed at a popular Asian restaurant in the Kampala metropolitan area between October 2018 until 2021. But the COVID-19 lockdown left her without a job. 184,000 Ugandans lost their jobs between the first lockdown and the second lockdown, according to an abridged report written by the Makere University Best Think Tank, the Economic Policy Research Center. Jane was one of these. During that uh, lockdown and so on, we had, they had to like, uh, disconnect us from work and we have to go for lockdown and so on. So since then it has been like really hard, like you can't get a good job for yourself. In November 2021, she got a job as a domestic worker after a friend told her of an opening in one of the homes around Kampala. Ask her how much is she willing to give or how much is she going to pay f for that person who is going to work for, for her. Then she told me the amount of the money and I remember also I was in need of money. She took the job. From earning 400,000 shillings per month at her former workplace, Jen now earns 250,000 shillings. As a leave-out maid, her reporting time is 6.30 a.m. and her duties have her occupied until 7.30 p.m. when she departs. After cleaning, she has children, I have to prepare the kids to go to school. I make for them breakfast and all that. Once they're done with breakfast, uh, I start my usual uh, work, like washing utensils, cleaning the house, making lunch for everybody. And after my lunch, I have also like to start with the dinner and so on before I leave. Jane's story is testimony of the changing face of those employed as domestic workers in many homes. Kristin Namara, director of the Proud Ugandan Maids Agency and a former maid, says the demand for more educated domestic workers is growing and so is the supply. I have so many graduates, people with diplomas, uh, like they call me and I'm surprised, They're talking very good English. They are graduates, they have moved around. One can easily tell you I've spent over three years, I've been on the road, but I failed to get what I, I, I graduated for. The supply for more educated domestic workers is also attributed to the rising unemployment rate in Uganda. In some homes, the house chores are done by men. Self-taught chef De Ogracia Sinzeimana, a father of three, with eight years of working experience in a hotel in Kisoro district, lost his job in November 2021. By the time he lost his job, he had saved up some money, but fate had other plans, and his savings quickly dwindled in a space of a month. As a man, I used it to look after them. And after there, I got a problem. My money got finished. Then I started looking for the jobs. In January 2022, Zaimana relocated from Busamba in Kisoro to Chiwatule in Kampala to become a domestic worker. He left behind his family with a promise of a 200,000 shilling salary per month. This was 100,000 shillings less than what he earned at the hotel. The transition from a formal occupation to domestic work was not easy. Because the things which I'm not used of, like uh, cleaning, like mopping, ironing the clothes, and washing utensils. Because at the first when I was working at a hotel, we had someone to be doing all of those ones. Like someone to be cleaning and washing utensils. For last our work was to cook. Um, first of all I didn't like it because it's not something also easy. You know something which you were not uh, something which it, uh, you were not fit for. Sometimes it's really hard to do it, but because now you have no choice you choose to do it just to make sure you hand that, uh, that living and so on. Eh? Recent numbers show that as many as 2,000 young girls leave Uganda every month to become domestic workers in the Middle East. The situation is different for those back home. Our girls who are moving out to the Arab countries, you'll find that they even find it free to stand and say, I'm working as a maid in Saudi Arabia in Oman, you, you know, because I think they feel it's worth it in, t in terms of payment, I don't know. I don't know if they value it just because they have gone abroad, I don't know. Yeah, but yet they can't come out here in Uganda and say that I'm a maid. Having worked as a housemaid for the last one year, Jen has found it hard to tell her mother who raised her and her five siblings single-handedly 
the truth about her job. Her widowed mother knows she gets temporary contracts to do outside catering. In most cases, people take people who does who do this job like they are nothing. Eh? Yeah, so that feeling it kind of like it, your mom has struggled for all these years, sending you to school, uh, paying for your school fees and so on. Then in the end, you end up getting such jobs. Nzeimana and Jen barely make enough to save. They are proof that a higher academic qualification does not guarantee a better pay. Though the qualifications may be higher, the challenges for domestic workers are more or less the same. In the second part of this series, we delve into the challenges. Rita Kanyamujuni, NTV.